hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have they? Well, with the monsters and the ghosts, you think? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Oh, please do. Can't make up your mind. A pity. No. And dangerous. I just don't care. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Perhaps you started I mean, to realize something. There was a massive chemical leak and there's been fart gas the entire game. Everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Not especially, no. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. I do like him, though. He's decent. But he is no Peter Stormare. Ah, Stormare's great. I get to keep being Julia, What the hell is huh? wrong with you back there? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. Did he? What, what are you talking... Come on, no. No, come on. He just ridiculous. ran away. What the fuck is Maybe going on Maybe I was supposed to pick up shit. the wrench. Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like... Like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and... That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. No, Alex wasn't it the does. Only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it... It was horrifying. Or at least two of them. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could. But not all of these crazy things. That's a good rationalization. A There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. This should go over well. What do you think actually happened to this place? Wish I knew. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Is this a ghost ship? This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. I guess I didn't find yeah, out enough yeah. of the mystery. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. I was hoping Brad would be able to find more stuff. How much more do you need to say? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's Do we? Least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. Yeah, if we can find it and use it... It still appears to have working power, that's so... Great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up Wait, there. Where is this? So we say generously, we say 70 years? Okay. Sure, why not? If we assume the paper was current, we have no reason not to. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Is that your professional opinion? This is a nice view. I like this. This reminds me of Cold Fear. I 
know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Well, it is in fairly close proximity. Like if the boat kept sailing for a while. I thought it was Julia. I guess just for the purposes of asking inane questions. Oh, I can look at the boat. We can get the lifeboat! Oh, there's holes in it. Is there a spooky, though? Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. I guess not. Although I guess if we're there's no fart gas, we won't have any spookies. Tragic. Some of those were really fun. I wonder if they're randomized. Like even if you make the same choices, do you get the same spooks every time? I'm not sure this is worth another play though. Find a way up. Sadly, no, but... If I could ever potentially get a four-player going, I might consider it. Yes. That's the worst that could happen. Oh, a piece of paper. Uh, gas mass instructions. Yeah, that seems like the thing to do. Huh. Must have been moving that was in the locker, too. Cargo. Gas masks will only be issued in the event of a gas leak, so someone knew what was going on. Okay. Well, and who's to say that continuous exposure to Manchurian gold doesn't have other lasting complications? It'd be nice to find a manifest or even something classified that like, says what that shit is and what its intended purpose is. Like, why is it on the boat? Like, because they made a big deal out of bringing it on board. It was a huge hey, cutscene for A little us. help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a look. Yeah, no, don't don't have Brad do it or anything. I mean, Fliss is a strong, capable woman. It just seems kind of backwards. I'll pull you up. Oh, fair enough. I was gonna say that's not what Chris and Sheva would do. Fliss would ninja flip up there. happened to Conrad? I guess he did get saved. Fucker was supposed to be going to get help. What a douche canoe. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. We're all douche canoes. Except maybe Fliss. Fliss was just a working girl looking for a paycheck. She didn't ask for this. She is the Jensen in this story. like a lot of walking around with nothing going on. Oh, internal view. No, we know there's nothing actually scary now, though, game. It's all in our head. You can die of fear. Well, we can't, because we're the protagonists. We can die from bumblefuckery. That's about it. Talk to Fliss, or... She just ran out of places to walk, and that's why she's there. Sorry I called you pirate. You'll have to excuse me. I'm King Douche of Douchebagia. That was odd. Oh no, it's just a reflection. Is that the same dirt pattern on both of them? Looks like a birdie. It sure is. Is that on all of them? Ah, uh, I can't. I think it is. I think they reused the dirt pattern on the windows, because what sociopath would actually look? Over here! I found a door I can't open. Gotta wait through here. Do we? I do like that hold to mash thing, that's nice.
Huh. Didn't realize that's how those would work. Big hole in the floor. No fart gas, though. Just mist. More corpses. Logbook. Quick, wiggle the book open. Uh, Last log shows him caught in a storm. Uh, several lightning strikes, no sustained damage, leaking water. Uh, lots of fog. Secret? No, oh, name of the ship starts with the word Orang. The name of the ship is the Orang Medan. Okay. Oh yeah, because the NG was on the hat. So we're not we're not not even gonna acknowledge you. Okay, that's fine. Which way do you want me to go again? That looks like back outside. Find the radio yet? Nah, just no, sitting down. Does there? A painting. Shut up, Brad. Well, that's Junior taken care of. I mean, it had to happen at some point. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good deal. That's kind of what I figured. Okay. Julie, are you going to... You gonna help out with this, or what are we doing here? Oh, what are you? Oh, okay. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. Actual. Sounds like route. they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean. But why? Huh. Unless they decided to head somewhere else. What are those other? Two red tacks for though. Sailing from China to San Francisco. Okay. I hear something. Uh, uh ship was blown off course, cloud cover okay. was bad. That makes sense. They said we got lost. Position. Okay. As yet to establish location. That makes more sense. So they were just lost. Oh, that's a radio that's still working. Of course it is. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Made a call broadcast, radio contact intermittent, accepted, attempted SOS, many crew mm, dead. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. <laughs> Thank you, I am dead forever. <laughs> Wait, thank you forever, I am die. What is it Crowley really says? No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Sure, well, why not? Radio science hasn't changed much in seven years. As long as there's power, I'll give it a whirl. I don't see how that helps. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Eight. Fifty-two. One eight. Probably Easter egg. Let's have some to help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy shit! We got him! Uh... Say nothing. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. 
This, like, exact scene happens at Until Dawn. This oh, shit, that's not what I meant to do. Please, I meant to say we were the Orang Madan. Hello? Hello? Oops. Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Screwed it up. I'll have to replay the entire game to fix that mistake. Oh. Uh, oh, military bandwidth. Uh, uh yep. Yeah. Uh, we gave the coordinates, though. Hey! Come here, look! There's a hole we can drop down and get lost in again. Down with the fart gas. That sure is a hole, Brad. Good job. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find Stunning. a way to get power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go. Obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? You? Fuck Come off, on. Alex. Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my idiot brother getting himself killed? How about showing was... me some brotherly love? I wasn't mean to him. For sure, I've been nice to him the whole time. I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect the big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's telling you that I'm going to. Okay. All right, Bliss. Ready? Oh, okay. What bearing update? Oh, the distributor cap. I was about to say, we don't really need the... That went amazingly. Like, um... We don't really need the radio, we need... Oh. Jesus. We need the uh, distributor cap. Still alive? Oh yeah, doing great. Everyone okay? Keep it down up there. We're okay. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna find the generator so we can power the radio. We'll wait here by the radio. You do that. Yeah, if nothing else, we should go because Julia's hurt. Hey. I mean, the radio works. This probably still has fuel in it. The other one did. This way. <laughs> Not this way, though. Oh, sick bay. Only good things can be in there. Oh, I wanted to look more in that room. I wanted to check the uh, locker that Homeboy shot up. See if it had bullet holes. Uh, oh, Charles. Some sort of uh, leave from duty, did intoxication, da 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 Both men. Brick. Wow. <laughs> Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. He did punch a guy over 50 cents. <laughs> Hello. Gunpowder, coils. Oh. Uh, Scientist X, C.W. Walter Bishop, Tom Palmer, Sergeant Peter what is a team mutually learned Western world must be protected from. The United States where certain agencies investigating chemical, biological agents of warfare are act limited by the actions limited by the Geneva Protocol of Experiments. We're unable to describe investigation during the test effects of human subjects. The molecule, crystal structure, hallucinogens, codename Manchurian Gold. Uh, was even relatively minor, observed to trigger significant hallucinations, men highly convincing subjects, seeing and hearing things that were not there, even dangerous manifold in its intensity. And we were bringing three cases of it back to San Francisco. Presumably to use on people. Maybe not right away, but it was like spilling out, like no one noticed it was spilling. Uh, public intoxication, did, did, did Anderson brawling, Joseph Roberts brawling. Huh. Guess there was a guy named Joe in sickbay. There was a guy named Joe in I was Joe in sickbay. Oh, sorry, I was, uh... So, how's school going? Good. Sorry, what? Yeah, why are you asking me about school? No, I didn't really go to school, so... Beats the hell out of talking about zombies. Thanks. Aw. Are we getting a connection here? I like that better than Conrad, frankly. 
Oh, is this the locker where the dead guy was? Oh, Jesus. I see the I guess he just the body has settled. I thought I saw another A. I guess not. Uh, let's see. John Patterson, mild neurosis. Disability is not the result of his own misconduct. Incurred a line of duty. Fit for service. Closely monitored and referred back to medical. Uh, uh, distress disorder. Oh, he's got shell shock. Duties. Fit and healthy young man. He was able to calm down during the course. Okay, so that was... And then... Well, see, but then the, the plane thing... Was that in his head, or was that actually happening? Because apparently this ship did shoot down their own plane, but that makes more sense to have happened uh, while they were hallucinating, I would think. Oh, God, is he... Even the son of somebody on board. God, is he going to be a character in one of the other games? So it kind of reminds me of those old uh, Friday the 13th and Freddy's Nightmares and basically just grown-up versions of the Are You Afraid of the Dark thing where we have anthology stories that are only really have a framing device that holds them together, but they're just uh, an excuse to sell, tell spooky stories. Another one, Outer Limits, was great. There was another Here, one. Here, come check this out. It's a little Look, monsters. Down there. Monster Vision. Monster Vision was fun. Looks like the engine. It's got to be where the generator is. You're right. Let's go down there. That's a bold assumption. The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Hey! Are you okay? Yeah. All good. Just come down. We sent the people without shoes down here. Jesus. It's bad for you. Don't do superhero landings, kids. Oh, God. We got fart gas it, it, again. It was... It was what, did you see it? See what? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so... He's getting it. Follow my thinking here. He's getting it. By Joe. carrying the Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable. There you go, we solved the mystery. The ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed over 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We knew they were scared of something. Weird stuff freaking everybody out. There you go, everybody. They thought it was just Jumpy G.I.s trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. Could this have anything to it's do like with the Black Jesse Eisenberg. Plane from the dive? I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Well, okay, let's... Maybe they sent out an SOS, the plane got it, wrote down some gibberish about uh, Manchurian gold, wrote down the ship's coordinates to go fly to it, and then the ship, freaking out with deck gunners, opened, like, lit them up. That's pretty good. The Van Linden engine works, Rotterdam need to land. Gotta watch out for them diesels. Watched Bullet Train today. It's amazing. If you haven't watched it, go do it. What do you think these guys are all about? I mean, I would norm this would be the part where the YouTuber was like, don't Finish my video, then go watch. Like no, no. Go watch Bullet Train. Don't worry about me. I'll be here. I'll miss you, but you'll enjoy the movie. It is phenomenal. Probably my one of my new favorite Brad Pitt movies. I wish the final bad guy had been someone else, but... Telegraph log, eh? Shake the book! I'm going to shake every book open from now on. Uh, head bell acknowledge, engine speed, do 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 do, relieve me a watch duty, relieve engine running at standard speed with no special standing orders. Found Lieutenant Young to be of sober and calm post mentis disposition. Oh, he was fit to be relieved, uh, or to take over his duties as engine. 
Uh, no abnormalities. Full speed ahead. Maximum speed. Standing order from chief engineer. Cut engine room power from all non-essential lighting and machinery. Hmm. Maybe that explains why there's still power. Look at this. Order received to anchor in shallow anchored. water. I wonder why. Cut engine power. So if the engines aren't on, would a capacitor really last 70 years? Like a capacitor from, well, the ship wasn't made in the fort. I don't know. We cranked out a lot of ships for World War II. It could have been made in the 40s. More likely it was made in the late 30s. Although our, our war production is a thing of legend. It really should be referenced more in civilization. Like, the amount of shit we were able to churn out for World War II was uh, staggering. Bullets and butter and bread and men and gas masks and pantyhose. That uh, we can do it thing, the lady with the slap on her bicep. Oh. Hey, hey, I found it. Well, we found it. Hey, that's, that's it's easy. It's working. Sweet. No wonder the power keeps cutting out. This thing is barely running. Yeah, no shit. Just throw the switch and let's go back upstairs. Okay. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. That was easy. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! Uh, hey! We need help now! Great! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt no, us! No, Alex, Over. we're fine. Huzzah! We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Great! We got an achievement for that. I guess you can miss it. Oh, come on, work them in. Oh no, we're still going. I figured it would die on us. Okay, great. Mission successful. Back to the fart gas. Look at this. The rebreather. The fisherman must have buttered over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. Mm, no, forget it. It's too heavy to drag along with us. Stand up for yourself, Brad. Half the ship is submerged. It could be a life -saving. Every item so far has been a red herring. This one has to be good. Because the knife was bad, the other knife was bad, the wrench was bad. I'm the one who's gonna kill you. Tell me where the fucking gold is. You going crazy or what, man? Have mercy. No. Shut up, you dirty liar. Shut your fucking mouth, you're full of shit. It's bullshit. Shut your dirty fucking mouth. No, don't do this. You just, you just gotta... We just gotta hug it out, bro. Is that the kitchen knife? Boy, I really shouldn't have brought that. Told you to shut up. Oh, ho, ho. Oh god, he's gonna give him an F you. Oh, the sugar your cap. I've seen better. Oh, he's having a bad time. Someone tells me he hasn't been outside to get some air. Unfortunately, he has a sledgehammer. That's a hell of a sledgehammer, too. Oh, shit. Oof. Oof. Yeah, something tells me I want to make that one. 
Did he grab the cap? to uh, steer clear of it. No shit. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, sweet. A telegram. Uh-oh. I guess I should look to the body. Oh, shit. No. Oh, he's got the ring. I mean, we can save the day. Um, good job, everybody. I think Alex and Julia would be pretty stoked to see this again. Fuck them, I'm selling it. They owe me for emotional damage. <sighs> Doing heartbeats again? Oh, why are you carrying the distributor cap? You little fuck. What's the problem with sharing all that gold? Yeah? If it's heartbeats, this is similar to until dawn's ending. And we're all in this together, right? Because you had to stand still a lot. Cut me out of the deed. In the ending of that one. Okay. You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here. Shut up, Olsen. Fuck. I beeped? <laughs> Fucking tragic. Oh, uh, we don't have a breather anymore. Okay. Right. It's not so bad. Uh, you probably. Sure. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. okay. None of you move. Oh boy. None of you go on changing on me now. Junior, everything's okay, buddy. Slow. Everything's Slow. okay. Hey, buddy. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Oh, he's struggling. Oh, 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 listen. Listen to me. We have no fight with you. We all just want to get out of here safely. You understand? I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't get much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Not again! It's all gone changing on me! Oh, he's seeing some bad shit. What? What's changing? Stay away! Shut up, Fliss. Stay back from the mist! Dude, what mist? Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's... Life! Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. You need to slow down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Fliss, please, please don't do that. Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you burned in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay, all, all right, look, I, there was you know, something back there. Come on, Brad, maybe use your big fog, brain. Maybe. I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> We're divers. Oh, really? oh, I am. Oh, you old fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been I mean, holding your breath this whole time. We left. You're holding your breath right now. Maybe. 
It's in me. I got the rest in me, don't I? Oh no. It's in me, isn't it? There's only one thing to do. I can feel it slowly around in there. Oh, that's 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 no it's good. Oh, don't do it, Junior. On the inside. You can do that, that's fine. Uh, I'm not lunging towards the man with a gun. Stop! Stop lying! I didn't say anything. You can all see it in me, can't you? No, you're fine. You're totally fine. Just lying. The mist is inside. Bro, you're so fine. I don't know if that's helpful. Hey man, come on, just put the. Oh, there you go. Uh, what was that bearing? Junior, Brad and found to take it with them, but then we dropped it. Yeah, yeah. The last one, Olson chased him. Convinced Junior that the mist must be inside himself, and then he shot himself. Good job, everybody. Good job. <laughs> No, no, you should. You want to hang on to that? Fliss, would, would you please pick up the gun? Fine. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna go check the next level and see if I can find any more gear. Alex, please don't leave. Why? I'm not gonna be long. Just wait by the radio. What? What? Why? Why? What? What gear? Some seventy-year-old parachutes? <laughs> the fuck are you doing, Alex? What the hell kind of sense does this make? Oh, fuck off, game. So we just haven't had any opportunities to get, like, Alex killed in a while. Well, who the hell is down here? Why don't we have flashlights anymore? Huh, that was weird. There was a shadow behind us. Now there's no behind us. Oh, he's having a bad day. Well, if we handle him and just remember not to kill each other, we'll be fine. This must have been what we just heard. Whoa. What was that? What do you it doesn't think? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here. He had to have come this way. That crazy asshole with a sledgehammer. Getting around real well for that leg injury. I keep waiting for that to play up. Holy crap. Like her knees to just shoot through the top of her skin. Look at what thing? What am, what are we looking at, Alex? Is that light? What are we He's having a time. Sure. That's a big hole in the floor. Oh fuck. What? There's something here. 
Yeah, Olson. What do you think's here, idiot? What is this camera angle? Dropped his hammer. Oh. Oh. Well, that makes life easy. Great. Olsen freaked out and died. Okay, sweet. So we just have to find the gear. Or, I guess, the distributor cap now that we found Olsen? Where the hell are the other two? Like, they're safe now. Hi, ghost. I know you're not real. I know you're just a drug-induced hallucination, and I'm not impressed anymore. Although, let's be real. Wasn't super impressed to begin with. Eh, that could be better. Oh. Huh. That is not what I expected. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. I'm good. He can he can finish what he's doing. He's just gonna wash himself forever. He's kinda cute. Don't... What the fuck? Alex. That was needlessly cruel. Oh god, he's getting his ass kicked by rats. I'm sorry, what? There should be... Oh, okay. Despite being attacked by rats. Is this our final boss? Rats? Shut the door! What? Oh, it's Jess. What? Who are you? Probably Jess. The knife down, you fuck. Oh god, are we gonna have a heart attack? I'm sorry? No, maybe don't stab yourself either. I should not have picked up this knife. I should not have picked up this okay. knife. <laughs> it is only going to get me in oh trouble. My God. Jesus, that would have been epic. Oh my though. God. I'm almost sorry I didn't. Just to stab himself in the stomach. Ah. Oh. But, you know, drug induced hallucinations. Also, not sure how killing a rat that's already bored its way through me would help. I guess I figured I can't do quick time events and decided to give me an easy ending. Yay, we did it! Where's Conrad at? <laughs> Conrad, you fuck. That was kind of awesome, though. I really liked that. Say what you will about Supermassive. They do pretty decent endings. Like, their third acts are usually pretty solid All from right. what I've seen. Let's try it. 
Do better, Brad. Yay! Boat noises. See you later, Conrad. Good luck finding us now, fucker. Like, we called for rescue and then left anyway. We should at least hang out on the boat and see if anyone comes. He got a gunboat? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Do we get Conrad's radical adventure on the boat with a machine gun? No, Conrad, look at everyone's notes. It's a trap. So something bad's gonna happen to Conrad just because everyone's an asshole and left. Boy, sure am glad that's over. I can't help but feel like we're forgetting something, though. Not even leave a note, like, hey, everything's fine now. What the hell is this place? What an ending. I love it. Is it abandoned? Hello? Alex, Shadows Julia! Oh, Are you what a here? bunch of assholes. Oh, don't grab a light or anything, Connor. Where's the rest of the Coast Guard? Like, they were with you on the boat, presumably. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Okay. I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. <laughs> I just hope he's alive. He's okay. <laughs> Almost like it was a bad <laughs> idea to tell him to get on a boat and go get help. Oh, the ring. Oh, I guess if she hated him, she might not give him the ring. Oh, man. This might be worth replaying. Just for that. At least you'll still have me. The man who's jealous of your wealth. If Brad doesn't get anything? It feels like Brad didn't need to be in the game. Really? Okay. They really are going to... Wow. I might take back some of the nice things I was saying. Yeah, you, anything? Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing. And that's something. I suppose. Things became a little intense, mm -hmm. but Alex kept his nerve. And he, I well thought he was done, having a heart attack. Well done, you. I thought I foreshadowed that. It's all that. about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head. That, that or certainly vice versa. Been. I did notice the Sometimes heart and head motif. Those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. Sometimes you stab but your fiance. There are repercussions. Because you think she's a monster. There are always repercussions. I guess if you weren't paying attention, you might think they're really monsters. I don't know. That'd be a real bonehead move. That feels like something you do just to troll your friends when you're playing Till online. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope. Maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. I almost, spare me over till oh, no. no, we're good. Spare me over till I almost feel like he's a representation of a aspect of death. Please stop that. Um... The whole, we'll meet again, it's inevitable. He mentions earlier that death is inevitable, and he seems rather disappointed that everyone survived. Of course, he's also a Crypt Keeper stand-in. Yeah, Conrad's having a bad time. Good job, everybody. Good job. Good job, everybody. 
We did it. <laughs> Fuck off, game. Uh, going it alone, that's something I suppose. I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was, they're gone. I like good. that. There? That's better than using O Death again. Well, that's not a silent hill knockoff. I said, I think there are three of these so far, so yeah, I guess we'll do a little hope. That looked pretty decent. So what do we got for special features? I have special features now. What do you have for me, strange man? Secrets of Collect all 25, uh, all 50 secrets. Creating the curator. Interview with Sean Ashmore. No, I'm fine on that. What were some game stuff that we could do? Wasn't there some different mode? Maybe it lets you fast forward or something? Oh, I can do scene selection. Oh, okay. Junior in the lower deck. The depths, a distress signal. Revenge. Plunge, the ritual. Finding friends. Danny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast the lane deck. And escape. Trapped in the officer's mess. The abandoned ship. Okay, so you can start and skip all the, the wretched shit. That, that's probably worth doing. Does it let you, like, what? Do I make choices? So, like, if I go to... Well, I guess that. Like, does it just gonna run me through some of the choices real quick? Or what, what happens? Does it just arbitrarily assign some of them? Because that's no fun. Because there are choices in the beginning that will affect things that I want to see, but... I did a new game, so... Oh, this seems to be the choices I made. Because... Yeah. I kept all my stuff. Okay. So I guess you have to... replay the stuff. Okay. I mean, that's... I don't know. I can't say I would never do this again. Like I said, there there are circumstances I might want to do this again with. It's it's interesting. It's honestly better than I thought, based on what I've heard and the little bits and pieces I've seen of it. Uh, I enjoyed it. It is definitely less interactive than Until Dawn. I feel like there was more... Well, Until Dawn's also bigger and longer. <laughs> um, but there's more to uncover in that. Like, there's three separate mysteries or two separate mysteries to kind of go through where here it's just kind of muddle about in the direction the game is hurting you maybe figure out what happened to the boat in the 40s so yeah that's man of a don we'll do some uh little hope and we'll uh, we'll come back next time i'll see you guys then i hope everyone enjoyed this uh i i do enjoy these cinematic games from time to time they're kind of a break Aside from quick time events, they don't require too much uh, effort. Also, if you would like to play these games, uh, sometimes they do go on sale, but there is, under accessibility, there is something I was messing around with, I didn't want to use, but because I don't mind. You can disable the quick time event timeout so that you don't, you have unlimited time. You can still press the wrong button. Um, I'd like to make the subtitles bigger, honestly. Oh, per character subtitles. I should do that in the next one. That would probably make life easier. I don't know what that sidebar information panel is. Anyway. 
Uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of neat. That's a good option to have for people who like. Well, I know my buddy was telling me a little bit about it. He plays with his wife because she likes, she loves these like narrative uh, game experiences, and she's not, she's not a gamer. She she's a she's a bit of a Stacy. So anything that helps people be able to get through the game, that's cool. That way you don't get stuck on like, well, like you you would pass the boat scene and you would get Conrad horribly stranded. Why did? That just makes me angry now. Makes me angry because the douchebags left without like, hey, we made it off the boat, Conrad. If you find us, let's meet in the nearest port or whatever. Uh, no note, no nothing. Just hey, we got the boat running. Let's get the hell out of here. Not hey, we've got food and water for a while still. Let's kind of sail around and see if Conrad comes back or see if we can reach someone on our radio on our working boat. And then presumably people came back with Conrad from the Coast Guard and they just let him wander around a derelict ship on his own? Or they went on... Or you, I guess you could make the case that they went on too and they breathed in the fart gas and they got the woogies and killed themselves or each other or saw a two-headed monster where their fiancé should be. Anyway. So yeah. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope everyone enjoyed my take on it. I wasn't too... Uh, chatty during it, but it is definitely something that needs to have the piss taken out of it. It does think way too highly of itself. Uh, uh, the characters aren't hor. Alex is horrible. Julie is pretty fucking close. Um, kind of liked once you get past Conrad. Uh, once you try and curb some of his being a horrible person that's trying to screw Fliss or literally anything that moves. Uh, Brad could have been a cat. And probably the story wouldn't have changed too much. Uh, Fliss was okay. I liked Fliss a lot. So, anyway. And, and Conrad grew on me. Uh, as we... The little we got to hang out with him. Apparently he sees some really interesting shit. So, so anyway. I'll catch you guys next time. Until then.